Hey, today I want to talk to you about spring guides and how to make contributions. In case you haven't noticed, on the Spring.io website, up here at spring.io slash guides, uh, we have a big collection of guides here. These are all ways to get started and solve uh, one particular problem using bits of the Spring portfolio. Right now we have over 60 of them. And perhaps you've looked at this. We've had them out for a couple of years. Well, if you type in some criteria, you can filter down. You can drill down into them and look at them. Now guides are aimed at being something that somebody can read and, and walk through the code in about a time of a single lunch break, like maybe about 30 minutes or so. They include things like build steps for popular platforms like Gradle Maven and uh, IDE stuff. And they show you how to get going with assuming that the person reading it maybe has uh, no experience in this particular area. In this case, this shows how to go write a scheduled task using Spring, and it's not very long at all. If you happen to be reading a guide and you do spot an issue, you'll notice every guide has a link right near here under, underneath the download bar, box here called Go to Repo. If you click that, you're going to find that every guide is backed by a GitHub repository. In this case, we have all the code contained here. Several of them have both an initial set of code and a completed set of code, so people can look at it before and after. And then all the text is down here. When people, if you spot any issues, you can click over here on the Issues tab and open to new issues. And you can find that you know other people have actually patched issues before. Going back to the guide, though, I want to discuss uh, what if you have an idea for a guide and you want to make a contribution. We do accept new guides. We've uh, been working on this for about two years and we've had several good ideas come in. Well, if you want to figure out everything you need to know on writing your own guide and, and submitting it to the Spring Team, just go to, to the bottom of any one of these guides and you'll check, you'll find a little bit of information down here. So if you check out our contribution, guidelines, it's going to take you to a wiki page. You notice we have this one repository up here called Spring Guides Getting Started Guides. This talks about how if you want to submit an idea, if you just have an idea, you can submit it up here. Down here we talk about some of the things that I just mentioned. Uh, we talk about here, you need to sign Spring's Contributor License Agreement, and then here's how to actually do it. What I'm going to do is give you a shortcut glimpse of what that process is. Essentially, if you go to this repository, if you go to the base of it, you're going to find that it looks like that other guide that we just saw a moment ago. There's an initial block of code, there's a complete block of code, and there's a little bit of uh, text here. This is just filler material. Essentially, this is your template. If you want to start a new guide, go to this page and then click Fork. I'm going to fork it to my own uh, location here. It's going to make me a copy. This way I essentially get a copy of it. I can go in here into the settings and rename it my cool guide idea. Now I can go check this out. I can clone it, uh, work on it, and essentially stand up my idea and this will give me sort of a template of what to work with. There's some bits of things here, I think of them as macros, but these are little chunks you want to leave in there that will pull in and run the guide. Down here is a little footer where it has the link so people can understand how to find the contribution section. But the rest of the stuff in here essentially is things you can go work on. Now when you're done making all your edits to your guide, what you want to go, what you want to do is look at uh, doing a, essentially, submit a pull request. What this is going to do, it's going to open up, well, it says there's nothing to compare here. So, let's say I go in and make an alteration. This is my really cool idea for a guide. I'm going to go ahead and commit that change. It 
Now what it's going to show me here is the original, the origin was Spring Guides Getting Started Guides Master, and then this is my own cool guide idea. I can make a pull request here. Now what happens is, is we're back to Spring Guides Getting Started Guides. And here, as one of the editors at large, I'll be able to come in and spot your pull request. Now your change, if we decide to accept your guide, we're not going to actually merge it to here. We can actually take your pull request that you created, and we can go out and we'll create a new repository. We may contact you and make suggestions to update your guide, or we may take it and do with some of our own polishing. It's also possible we may discuss with you whether or not the guide is actually a good fit for the spring.io slash guides page. Uh, but we'll work with you on the process of doing that. And essentially, we can take your pull request and through the power of Git, we can easily move it to another its own repository. If it's successful, your guide will can join all the other ones that we have out here. We do ask if you're interested in submitting the guide that you also be ready to invest time to help uh, maintain it. Typically, when we make updates to stable releases of Spring Boot, I'll go through and update all the guides to use that. Uh, if there's other bigger changes, maybe to some of the modules that you're using, you may need to go do that and reflect that better. You know, if there's whole if there's whole rewrites, like in a major release of some component that you're showing and how to use, you may need to come back and do substantial edits. And then we need people that, uh, if there's open issues in particular, you know, somebody's opened uh, issues of concern, we ask that you keep an eye on the on your own guide so you can help us maintain and editing it and keep it up and keep it fixed. And in case you're interested in keeping an eye on what guides, what open issues there are, you can go visit issue-aggregator.guides.spring.io. This is a tiny boot app I put together to go scan all, all of our guides and go report any outstanding issues. If we accept your guide, you'll be automatically listed here as well. So, with all this in hand, I invite you to go check things out and figure out if your idea, if you think the, your idea is the right idea for us. Thank you.